What's up my dear boys and girls, it's Ranger Boy here with basically what you can call a bonus video to yesterday's video. So let's talk about that leaked image of Serena in Pokemon Journeys and how it's actually official. And we also got some potential plot summary in regards of the upcoming episode, so let's dive right into it. Also some of the information naturally are spoilers, so watch at your own risk. First of all, the leaked image, and it seems to be 100% real, because a Japanese magazine publisher called Animedia, who as you can see here, works very tightly with the Pokemon anime, and also by the way, I got like two posters of their magazine hanging in my room right now, have threatened the Chinese leaker with a potential lawsuit if he wouldn't delete his tweet, which of course he did. But thanks to that rather public action, the magazine publisher basically said straight to our faces, yeah, Serena's back, 100%. In my opinion, that action was rather stupid. Instead of doing a public tweet that everybody can see, why not just message the leaker himself? But with this move, they ruined the surprise. But I guess the lawsuit doesn't really threat the Chinese leaker at all, because now he retweeted a potential plot summary of the Serena episode with some rather shocking details. So once again, spoilers! If you don't want to know about it, then click off the video right now. 3, 2, 1 you've been warned. So the plot summary of this week's long-awaited episode has the following bullet points. This will be Lysia's first appearance in the Pokemon anime, which, you know, that's kind of natural, so not really that shocking. But the second bullet point is very important. Serena reappears in the anime as Lysia's rival. Oh my god. So from that one sentence alone, you can tell how much progress Serena has made throughout the last few years, that she is now shown as the rival of someone who is regarded as a superstar in the contest world. That right there is crazy. Number three, interaction between Coados Eevee and Serena Sylveon, Serena Sylveon, plus the inheritance of the hair ornament. Finally, and the question that has been bugging the community for weeks now. Who is the trainer of the Sylveon revealed in the teaser trailer? Many people were convinced that it was actually Lysia's Pokemon, but I guess that this is not really the case. And Serena giving Koharu the ribbon is also not really a new revelation, since that has been somewhat hinted in the opening. Next bullet point, the topic of Steven comes up in a conversation between Ash and Wallace. That right there means several things. First and foremost, Ash will be in the Serena return episode. A lot of people were really worried that Ash wouldn't be there at all and henceforth, no interaction between Ash and Serena. But with this, it at least confirms that there will be some sort of interaction between the two. We just don't know how long it will be, since Ash will be busy with Wallace and Serena will be busy with Koharu. I really hope that the interaction won't be, I don't know, 30 seconds maximum, like the Dawn Return where Ash and Dawn had a total interaction of 30 seconds. Absolutely pathetic journeys. And last but not least, the contest costume worn by Koharu is an Auras specification. There is a mention of Hoenn's dancer equals Haruka about the costume. So yes, we will not only get Serena and Lysia in this episode, but also a legit mention of Mei after all these years. They are probably doing this kind of approach to honor Mei since her Japanese voice actor still has some health issues. It's kinda sad that she can't return alongside Serena, because that is what we all wanted. But I'm glad that she is mentioned and honored through Koharu, and that at least spiritually, May is still in everyone's mind. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this once again very short video. What is your opinion on the image now being confirmed as real and uh, potential spoilers? Tell me and just like always, see you guys in the comments down below. Bye guys!